first maintenance request because <laughs> uh, my shower head isn't really working it works halfway between settings instead of like all on one setting if that makes any sense they are going to be here in like two minutes i'm gonna go hide in my room and work and have my little european breakfast if any of you know what I'm talking about, it's literally like an open face sandwich, basically. And before any of you come at me, oh, Europe is not just a country. Listen, I have had this in like almost every European country I've been to, and I've been to a lot. I have had basically the ingredients for an open face sandwich offered to me at every like hostel or hotel breakfast that I've ever stayed at in Europe. Okay, all of them. Don't uh, come at me for claiming it's a European breakfast, okay? I've never been offered it at in any American hotel I've ever been to, and I've been to all 50 states. And honestly, it's so good. I, I prefer prefer that to like cereal. Apparently, showerhead is supposed to just be weird. Like apparently there's only three settings, and the other settings that are in between those are just spraying water that are in between those settings. So there was nothing to fix. The guy was like, yeah, I agree it's weird, but all the other showerheads appear to be doing that in other like empty apartments too, so. And I was like, don't you? Okay. Did I expect my first maintenance request to go any differently? I don't know. There we go, I guess. I don't know. This is odd. I have been living in this stack of boxes for a week now, okay? Boxes, things over there, just so much stuff everywhere, okay? It's been a week and I have not unpacked anything. Like all my cupboards are empty. There's nothing in any cupboard or shelf or anything yet, which is a little problematic. I like have no desire or urgency to actually like fix that. And I think it's probably just because I'm so used to living out of suitcases. Like I did that for five months and I have no qualms about just having boxes of stuff and rifling through it until I see what I need. Like I, unfortunately there is no urgency to unpack, <laughs> which is not good because it needs to happen. But I also need to like be intentional about it because I know that the second I put anything anywhere, even if it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna put this here for now and I'll change it later. I won't, I won't change it later. So I actually need to be intentional about it from the get go, which just makes me procrastinate doing it even more. But we need to change that. We're changing that today, at least a little bit. So what I've determined is the least daunting thing is my bathroom, okay? We have kind of, mixed collection of things there and we have one box just this box of stuff because like obviously my shower curtain's already up i think there's a few random towels in other boxes but other than that it's this is pretty much it also you'll have to ignore the fan because i cannot turn the lights on without also turning on the fan so that's just that's just how it is okay i have all of these shelves or cupboards there's kleenex and tissue paper not tissue paper toilet paper in here, but that is literally it. Like there's nothing in any of these drawers yet or under here, like there's there's nothing. First thing first is that this garbage can, I think is actually gonna go in my bedroom. And instead I'm going to put this one in my bathroom here because I think it just matches the vibe more. It's just more beachy in here. So I think this is better for the bathroom. surprisingly difficult because I'm not used to having so much storage at my parents' house. It would just be like everything I had would be on the counter because there just wasn't really storage. I don't need to have everything on the counter. I don't in fact have to have like anything on the counter if I don't want to, but that's like 
kind of hard to process. Okay, the box is officially empty. It's just have to finish figuring out where all of it is going. All right, I think I have it pretty much figured out. There are still some towels that I need to find because I don't know where they are. But other than that, I think this is pretty much everything. So here on the counter, we just have like my regular face products that I use every day, my contact solution and convict case retainer, toothbrush, soap, pretty basic. And then this top drawer, we have other things that I use pretty much all the time, various scar and acne stuff, some hair binders, toothbrush, comb, and more contacts. And then in this drawer, I have just some kind of other extra things, extra contact cases, floss, my bar shampoo and conditioner, extra set of retainers, just kind of some random other smaller stuff. And then down here is kind of like my travel drawer. So this is my toiletry bag, some small little travel containers. And these are like little pill boxes. Under here, there's actually nothing still because I don't have anything to put there. And then in this one, this box back here is like extra stuff of conditioner and other things that I use regularly. These are like hair products, things that I use somewhat regularly, like on a weekly basis, but you know, not all the time. This is like uh, medical stuff, band-aids and things like that. Extra perfume stack there. Random thing of melatonin that I've used like twice, but I have it, so. And then up here is my like little fan that I use to dry my hair, my hair dryer, and these are extra like shower curtain hook things. And then this one down here, this is where I'm gonna put my towels when I find them. I'm pretty sure they're all like protecting glass stuff. But then I have uh, Kleenexes, this is a hand towel, and toilet paper is down here. That's my bathroom. So one room of my apartment is officially organized. Now just the rest of the whole apartment. That's fine, it's an accomplishment. We did one. Okay, I want to decorate for Halloween. My apartment is still super messy and just filled with boxes still, so I don't really have the space to like actually do something, but I have this little box of stuff and this little pumpkin container that my aunt got me as like a little housewarming present. So I think this is a box of stuff my mom gave me. She's like, you can have this Halloween stuff. And there's this little bag of candy. So I think I'm going to put the candy in here. At least however much fits in it right now. And then I can fill it up later. And then I also have a few other things. So I have like this little pumpkin thing, like doorknob thing. And then another little pumpkin. Oh, I have a little kitchen towel that has a witch on it. And another little pumpkin. And then, this is interesting, a couple little spiders, little rat, and some like bouncy ball eyeballs. We have a little collection of things. Not very much, but... I don't really want more right now because my apartment is a mess still. So. Okay, I am on a mission to hopefully find things that I bought on Fabletics online, but they're sold out online. So I'm hoping if I go into an actual store, they'll have some. Unfortunately, they didn't have what I wanted, but I did get put it onto a like email list for when they do come in because they said they hadn't seen any of those new ones in the tall or small. So she's like, we can't be sold out because we haven't even received it yet. She's gonna email me when they get those ones in and then I'll go get the right size that I want. So it wasn't like a total loss. Also, I just went to the Apple store too because I need a new phone. I am constantly running out of space. Don't have any space on my phone ever. So hopefully soon I'll be getting a new phone. I am about to cook my very first actual dinner here in my apartment. It is 8.30 at night, so it's already gonna be a late dinner. I came back not that long ago from my weekly Harry Potter movie. If you haven't watched my videos the last couple weeks, they have been showing the Harry Potter movies in the theaters, like once a week, basically. And so this one was Deathly Hallows part one. And it's just, it's just so good. And it's wild to realize like, the pacing is so much different because the book is split into two, whereas all the other movies feel very like 
fast paced, they cut half the stuff. Whereas rereading this book, because I've been rereading them at the same time, I've been like, and this scene is in the movies, and this one's in the movies, and this one's in the movie. Like every single one is in the movie because they split into two. And I just, oh, I just wish they could have split four, five, and six into two as well. Obviously it's kind of impractical, but there's just so much detail that they could have included in the movies, but they didn't because they only had two, two and a half hours to work with. I know plenty of people who would be happy to sit for that. I am just a defrosted chicken. This is my first meal I've cooked here. Do I know what I'm doing? No, did I FaceTime my mom already? Yes. And I'm thinking it's probably odd that I've been here for a week and a half and I haven't cooked dinner. I just haven't been home for dinner. I either was out celebrating my birthday or I was eating at my parents' house because I work by my parents' house. So like in between, two different sets of coaching practices. I like had 30 minutes. So I like go eat at my parents quick or I had dive meats during dinner. Like I just, I haven't yet cooked dinner yet. So also if you'll see, I have um, some Sunday night football going on back there on my TV, on my really cool, fun TV stand. Let's see, I haven't used this either. I mean, I've used stoves obviously, but this one specifically, oh, we just do this, okay. And where is start? Oh, right here. Let me just get my one singular pan out here. So here are my spices. Pepper. Where's salt? Hello? Oh, I, did I already take it out? I really have no idea how much spice to put on this. Like I really, I have no concept of it whatsoever. I, I don't know. I would just like to kindly remind everybody that I'm not here to do anything fancy. I'm here to get a chicken breast cooked and that's it. Oh, there she is. Also the meat thermometer that my mom got me, it isn't working. Like it doesn't work. I switched the battery. It's supposed to just turn on when you like take the prong thing out of it and it do like doesn't do anything. So we're just gonna like risk it. Obviously if there's any pink then no, but so you know, that's fun. All right, here's a test. Mm, that seems dry. Yeah, that seems very, very good. It's a little dry, but that's okay. I know this is like super basic, but I don't really care, honestly. I like basic foods. Chicken is just always good though. Like, let's be honest. I felt like this was gonna be bad. Also milk. Man, you know you're from the Midwest. Milk is so good. Also, this is just like a Christmas class. Still haven't unpacked yet. It's fine. Vegetables. It'll get fancier. Well, not fancy. It'll get more planned out. I won't be eating at literally 10 PM. Do you ever feel like you are just itching to get out of your skin? Like I can't focus on anything. I've been trying to do work. <clears throat> I've been trying to do work and get things done and I have 800 things to do. And I, I can't, I cannot make my brain focus on any single one of them. Not one, okay? Like I started the day laying in bed for two hours because I, I literally couldn't make myself get up. Like <laughs> I have so, so much that I need to do. And I'm only home today for another like two and a half hours before I have to go work for five hours and then I come back and then I'm gonna be too tired and I'm not gonna wanna do anything. And like, I can't, <laughs> I, I, I can't make myself do anything right now. I have like three different projects that I have started barely and like couldn't keep going. Like I couldn't keep working on them. So I think my best option right now is unfortunately to watch some YouTube at regular speed because normally I watch at double speed and maybe that will stimulate my brain just enough to be able to actually do something else. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I love my brain. I love my brain. It's so much fun to have to figure out how to make it do things. This is just Ava Jules coming to the rescue again. You're my favorite YouTuber. I am making myself a quesadilla right now for lunch. I had one yesterday and it was delicious. So this is probably my new go-to food because does anybody else do that? Where you like, you get one thing and you eat it every single breakfast or like you have the same thing for every single lunch for like weeks and then you get tired of it and you're like, I actually won't be eating that for months. Cause that happens to me with almost everything. I will eat something for so long and I'll be like, mm -mm, nope, not anymore. It was my favorite until today. I of course only like to put an absurd amount of cheese on anything. So that'll be 
<laughs> really gooey in a second. I did manage to actually get something done. I had to submit some transportation requests for the like last couple meets of the season, like sections and state, like the big ones. So while I was watching some Ava tools, I did get that done at least. The one thing off my to-do list. But it is something, it is something. We did something. I just have to work in like an hour. I burned it. I am walking laps in my hallway and reading Harry Potter. And I just got to the part where Minerva, oh my god, well, if I can do this and read at the same time, says, Pier totem locomotor, and like all the, the statues come to life. And she goes, Hogwarts is threatened, man the boundaries, protect us, do our duty to the school. And I <laughs> literally, I just got so emotional, started tearing up. That is one of those moments that like just goose, I literally have goosebumps right now. <laughs> Oh, it's just so good. And it's just so like, this is your home and it's threatened. And you need to do everything you can. Oh my gosh. It's just so good. It's so good. There are people across the street and they are looking right at me right now. Just find your business. I live here. Anyway, it's the next day. I feel loads different than I did yesterday. Didn't look at my phone right away, which is probably just what I need to do. Read some more Harry Potter. Shocking. I honestly forgot that the silver doe then gives them the sword of Gryffindor was Snape's. Like I fully forgot. I was like reading. I was like, did they ever explain what this, who the silver doe is? And I got to that part where it reveals that that's Snape's Patronus. And I literally, it was like reading it for the first time again. Like I fully, forgot as if i'm not completely obsessed with harry potter right now it's fine um i want to go on a little walk but like not a full walk so there's a grocery store like right around the corner over there so i think i'm gonna walk over and get a couple things I, it's not gonna be like my full big grocery haul with like all the kind of different essentials because i still haven't done that basically i've run out of cheese and i can't live without that that sounds very dramatic but anybody who knows me Cheese is like the biggest food group that I eat. So I'm gonna go for sure get that and maybe a couple other things. And I think I'm just gonna kind of like compare the pricing because usually I think I would go pick up stuff from Target just because usually it's cheaper and I also have a Target card. So I get deals there as well. Considering this grocery store is literally within walking distance, I thought I might as well look at it. Just kind of like compare some prices online with Target. That's the plan for this morning. I'm trying to be productive. And this is your sign that sometimes you just need a little rest. Like yesterday, apparently I just needed to kind of chill and not do a whole lot because I feel loads more motivated now. Outfit, these are black leggings from Fatletics. This is a thrifted flannel that I've had for years. I bring it on every trip I've ever been on. And this is just a Free People top that I got on Poshmark. Let's go get some groceries. This is so bizarre. I've never been able to just like walk to a grocery store wherever I've lived. Like, I've never been able to do that. In case you're wondering, I'm the youngest person here for sure. I mean, I'm going literally in the middle of the work day, so it makes sense, but also it's expensive. Okay, I know this is super specific, but I've been craving a English-style bacon sandwich, like with that thick cut bacon that's different than U.S. bacon. And I don't know what that kind of bacon would be called here, or like how to find it. So if anybody knows, please comment down below because I've been craving one. Okay, I've got my stash. A little smaller than I thought, but it's such a nice day outside. I'm just gonna go explore where the start of the trail is so that when I wanna walk it, I know where it is. I just had to just do a quick little walk on the trail back to Main Street. But I'm just reminded of how much I love living in a walkable city. And it's not even like huge, like it's not even like a city city, like by American standards at all. But it's just so nice to be able to walk places. Also, it's like 75 degrees outside right now. It's so, so nice outside. Well, that was more a lesson and a learning experience than anything else. I didn't get very much. Anytime I saw something, I was like, let me find it on Target. Let me see like what it would be. And it was always dramatically cheaper on Target. Unless I have like some kind of emergency, last minute emergency and I like need something really quick, then obviously I'll go over there, but I will be doing all my shopping at Target. But I did get three things. I got two things of cheese. So this one is Havarti. 
because I actually couldn't find a block of Havarti online at Target. They must sell blocks of Havarti, but I couldn't online find one, so I was like, I'll just get this one, and I'm almost out of cheese, so I need some anyway. And then this one is extra sharp white cheddar, which is just so good. Also, which I want extra sharp white for whenever I figure out what meat is in bacon sandwiches, the UK bacon sandwiches. Obviously it's their bacon, but I need to find the equivalent in the US because you search bacon anywhere and we just come with like our regular long skinny strip thin bacon. And that's not what I want. The other thing I got was this little lemon poppy seed loaf. It's so good. It, I can smell it through the plat. It smells so good. I'm a sucker for lemon poppy seed, okay? So I had to get this, it was just a fresh little loaf. It's so nice out. I think I'm going to put shorts on and go up to the lounge. There's like an outdoor lounge up on the top floor. And I think we're gonna go out there and do some work because it's, it's so nice outside. story time because I just ran into somebody else who lives here for the first time. Literally haven't seen another person who lives here. I got a package, I was picking it up, and then I saw somebody, a guy go into the elevator. He said, oh, another person who lives here. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a new building. People have only been allowed to live here for like a month so far. So there's not many people who live here yet. We're like, oh my gosh, like good to see another person who lives here. And so I was like trying to be outgoing and like not me naturally and I was like what's your name and he was about to reply and the elevator like shut and he tried to stop it and he was like said his name didn't hear what it was and he was like what's your name through the elevator door and I was like I'm Sarah <laughs> I was like so that was great didn't hear his name don't know what it was and that was my first meeting somebody who else lives here but anyway I have kind of a haul for you if you can see over here look at that pile. I went to Target, as you can see. Really quick haul. First we have dishwasher soap so I can finally use my dishwasher. It's been like two weeks. Some Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. Big mac and cheese fan. I've never actually had that. I've always just had craft growing up so I just want to try. Sugar. Because I grew up in a dessert household. I don't know how not to have desserts around. And not just like store desserts, like homemade desserts. So we'll be continuing that tradition. Canola oil. I have Pam. This is like more of an actual intentional necessities haul. Not just like pasta. Ground nutmeg. Hershey's syrup. Vanilla extract. Chocolate chips. And I just had to get the like candy corn pumpkins. They're so good. They're by far my favorite kind of candy corn type stuff. And this is the only time of year I can get them, obviously. Garlic powder, apple juice. We have butter and turkey pepperoni to snack on, which is so good. Turkey pepperoni is better than regular pepperoni. Mexican style shredded cheese for quesadillas. <laughs> I just completely forgot that I had gotten eggs. If you think I hauled these things on my arms in one trip, you are absolutely correct. And until now, I completely forgot that I had eggs in there because I was kind of clanging them around. But they look fine. They look uncracked. So that's good. I should just remember when I order eggs to remember that I have them and to not smash them around so much. And last but not least, I got two of these Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. They are so good. They are so delicious. I will be having those dinner sometime. So the thing is, I still haven't organized my kitchen. As you can see, there's still boxes and boxes and boxes. Unless these things go in the fridge or freezer, I don't have a place for them yet, which obviously I need to do. That's like a problem. But see, it's 9.30 at night and now I really don't want to do that right now, so I'm not going to. The work in my cheese drawer is getting quite full and I'm very happy about it. One of my other 
our goals this year for 2024, besides moving out, was getting paid more on YouTube. And by that I meant hitting the $100 threshold in one month, because YouTube pays every month, unless you don't meet the threshold to get paid and then it rolls over to the next month. So my goal was to get paid in one month, get enough in one month. And I just hit that for October. I just hit the threshold for October. So I have earned enough in one month to get paid in the month, if that makes sense. So that's also just exciting that I managed to do that in October of all months.